Look at me! I'm Diddy Kong! Woo! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time for more blue coins. Yes, more of them. But at least there is some, you know, spacing between these parts and the other ones. But anyway, let's get this started. I'm gonna start with the exclusive ones. And what I mean by that is, like, ones that you can only find in very specific episodes. So I'm going to start with episode one here. Um, there's only two exclusive ones, and they're very, very similar here. See, uh, you're going to look in this pollution here, you know, the paintfish stuff here. And over in this area, there's two Nokis over here. You would think that, you know, they should know enough to avoid this goop by now, but no, 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 they're in the goop, and clean both them off, and then talk to them, and they'll be like, you're welcome. Well, they say thank you, and I just said you're welcome. You get the idea, and yeah, both of them give you coins. The next one you want to choose is episode 6, and guess what you're going to have to do? The exact same thing. Seriously. Oh, in case you don't realize, I am uh, tackling the outdoor ones first before I go to the indoor ones, just to keep things nice and organized for you. So, yeah, go over to here this time, and uh, sure enough, those exact same two Nokis are in the goop! Why? How do they, how do they keep falling into this stuff? Wait, these are... Wait, these aren't the ones that give you blue coins, they give you lives, so these aren't the ones that I'm looking for. So where are the two that I'm looking for? Are they back from I mean, are they over here? Uh, or maybe I just can't tell the difference between Nokis, I don't know, but I, I certainly think they seem like they're, they're the same ones. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Maybe those other two were the same Nokis and these are different ones, I'm not sure. I'll have to look back at the footage or something like that, but anyway, I guess it's kind of handy to get two lives from those uh, other two Nokis if you want them, like if you need to life grind or something like that. Anyway, more coins! Now, select episode 8 for the remaining outdoor coins. Here we go! Uh, right, right off the bat, you're gonna want to go all the way over to the right here, and see way, way off the coast, you probably can't see it here just yet, but you go follow this wall here, and hover around this wall, and look at that, there's a blue coin right down here, and boop! Also right near the beginning, there's a bunch of chairs around here. Now, there's a blue coin somewhere in the sand here, I think. Or maybe it's... I know I can spray this side for a blue coin. I might as well just get that one right now. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, wait, maybe that's the one that I was thinking of? Hmm. I could have swore there's one down by the sand there. Maybe, maybe what happened before in my other playthrough is I sprayed the sand and I accidentally sprayed this somehow. I don't know. Hmm. If you look underneath this right hut ceiling here, yeah, hidden blue coin, and there we go. We were just looking up here, so let's go down here, and look at that, there's an M. Spray it, and you get a blue coin. There's a little sunflower garden over here at the upper right corner. There you go. Spray it, and you'll get a coin. At the back side of the hotel, you're going to see a blue coin way up there. How do you get up there? Well, you can do this a number of ways. I'm just going to do a wall kick and spin. Well, spin plus wall kick. And there you go. There's one more that you can get up here right away. So just go around the corner here. And I'm pretty sure this torch, the left side torch here, Wait, wait, this isn't a torch? Because that one gave me a coin. I'm pretty sure it's a... What? That thing isn't... Wait, you're telling me that tiny flickering flame still hurts me? Well, I guess that technically it still could. You know, it's hot, but wow, come on. Okay, is this the one? No? Wait, what? what? Where'd that come from? The second torch? Well, well, whatever. That's the last coin of the outdoors. Now what you're going to want to do is go over to the casino here in episode 5 and spray this M on the wall here. Boop! Yep, you get a coin. Yep, that's right near the entrance there. You can't miss it. 
Now, there's a bunch of slot machines over here, but only one of them contains a blue coin. How do you get the coins on these slot machines? You gotta ground pound them. Ground pound that one right there, and you'll get a blue coin for it. Um, there's one last thing that I have to do in here, and there's and it's spray a torch. I don't remember which torch it is, but I remember it was a torch. That one gives me a coin, so it's probably this one here. Is this it? Is it? Is it? Come on. Yeah, baby! For the rest of the blue coins, just select episode 8, and you'll be able to get all the remaining ones. See that triangle scribble on the wall there? This is a really tricky one, and this one had me puzzled for a while. Uh, when you spray this, a coin will appear on the second floor. That's where the other coin is. It's like somewhere around there in that area on the second floor. Well, if you use the stairs, you are never going to make it in time. So, you gotta wall kick off that central pillar. This is how you do it. Switch camera over and flip, wall kick, and go, 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 go. Yeah, baby! Woo! And I was looking at the wrong corner, I just realized, but that's okay. You got you got the idea. I found the triangle scribble anyway. And for this one, you just reverse your path, only it's a whole lot easier because, you know, you're falling instead of trying to climb. And... Boop! Okay, going up to the second floor here, you're going to see a little X. Yep, corresponding X's. X marks the spot. Us pirates will be getting our booty. And this one goes all the way up on the third floor. You couldn't see that whatsoever, but that was the game's intention. You're supposed to know where the X's are ahead of time just by looking through the thing. And there we go! And obviously you can just reverse your route to get the other coin. Or at least I hope you can, honestly, because sometimes you have to, you know, like, jump down from up the wall before, like I showed you before. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I'm just gonna immediately run down the stairs as fast as I possibly can. Go 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 yeah baby. Okay, way on this third floor here, see the skylight up here? Just spray it with some water and a blue coin will appear. Who is gonna think of that really? I mean, remember that boo head statue was up here before, so Oh no 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 no! No, not have to climb back up there. But yeah, who is really gonna think about that? Seriously. I mean Ugh, no one would think of spraying that skylight on episode, you know, that one with the boo skylight, as I said before. And anyway, go back up here, up to the third floor, there's a red arrow, spray that. And there's another thing that you should be spraying on this floor as well. Go over to here, and see this lamp? Another one no one will think of. Yep, spray the top of the lamp, and you'll get a blue coin. Why no one will think of that is because who... Sprays lamps anyway. You are taught all your life to avoid spraying lamps with water. You know, trying to keep electricity appliances away from water. <sighs> okay, let's clear out the attic here. There's three coins that you can find in the attic. One is by a wandering ghost, you know, a little boob friend guy. Uh, the other is a normal laying around blue coin. The other one is a M on the wall. Hello there, are you a- Yes, you're a blue coin giver! Yay! That's just what I was looking for. Okay, now there's only two coins left, and I aim to find them. See that scribbled M on the wall? I gotta find a way to get over there. Wait, 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 I think this path leads to... Yes, this leads to a blue coin in this dead end here. And the third one will be in an area coming up that I can get to that M. There's probably some intersection coming up soon, like this one here. And I can just backtrace my steps here. Yeah, I made a reference there. And spray this M until it coughs up a coin. Yeah! Okay, over at this six coin area, at this corner, you can see... Pff, why did I go into first person mode? Well, that way is the chandelier, and ground pound through here, and you're gonna end up in this area. But you can spray this to get through into here. So this is just to show you where the heck you are in this area. Well, once you spray this poster, you'll be able to go through it like that. There's a blue coin in here. Ah, the room I was just in. One of these bookshelves there, there contains a blue coin. Uh, ground pound this tile in that very same room and you'll come to this room with a bunch of crates down here. Ground pound this crate and you'll get a blue coin. 
and then go all the way over to the next room, and there's another blue coin right in plain sight. Okay, at this intersection here, take this path over to this one here, and follow... Whoa, I almost did a wall kick there! And follow it into this room. Ground pound this until you get to this area. There's this lady in here. She's just, you know, total outrage, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry, lady, but I've got to get myself a blue coin by spraying this odd mirror on the wall, or whatever the heck this thing is. There you go! Aha! That's what I thought! I was kind of stuck here for a minute. I walked all around the mansion until I... Well, I should say hotel until I came to this. That's how you get into this final secret room, that lady that I was just... Yeah. There. I could have got here all the time, but I walked all around the mansion. There's the last blue coin! Woo! Stop hoarding all the shine sprites! Why don't you just help save... Delfino Plaza! Yahoo! Now for the 100 coin shine of Serena Beach. This is probably the most annoying 100 coin shine in the entire game. But I recommend that you choose episode 4. Now on this episode you can not only just go to the, the slot machines and just get unlimited coins that way, but there's also a decent amount of coins lying around the whole place in general. Hello there, 1-Up. I will grab you for a later level in this game. Stop running away! Stop running away! Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. I definitely recommend Episode 4 because even if you don't find enough coins throughout the uh, beach area outdoors here and inside the hotel, you're definitely going to have enough coins uh, just by going to the casino. And I could have swore that you can spray the beach here and get a bunch of coins. Maybe it's not this episode, but I still recommend doing episode 4 for the simple fact of, as I said, you know, the unlimited coin chance. So you're guaranteed to get 100 coins on this episode, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so anyway, there's some coins underneath some of these huts, if I'm not mistaken like this one here. Yeah, this is taking quite a while here. I'm almost considering speeding this up a little bit, you know, you know like doing post-commentary or something like that, because that, this, I have a feeling, might take longer than I would hope for for a 100-coin video, and, you know, I don't really want to make these videos too long. And, uh, can I spray this for a coin? Can I spray this for a coin? Thank you. It took that long just to get a coin. Okay, that one in the corner took that long to get to get a coin, but the rest of these don't. Why? Just why? See what I mean about this place being annoying for the sake of being annoying? That is just another example out of many. And I would like to get up there to uh, get a coin or two as well before I go up to the top. Alright. I should say before I go inside the hotel in general, and that really sucked. Arr! And triple jump for the win to get up here. And there should be uh, at least some form of coinage coming from that one there. There we go. Let me guess, I've doused this one completely again to get a coin out of it. Yeah, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Is this torch in the center? Yeah, it will give me a coin. Alright, now we're inside the house, so let's clear out these coins in the water here. This is gonna net you a pretty good profit here. Well, okay, maybe not that good. Coins are pretty sparse in this hotel to begin with, so this uh, whole coin collecting fiasco and how, do you, how you get all these coins doesn't really help the matter all that much here. Some of these give you coins, I guess. Oh boy. Do you have to really spray all some of these the whole way to get a coin? Oh my god, you seriously have to spray all these some all the way to get coins sometimes. Holy Toledo. Like, watch this one. This one's gonna be See? I put out the fire and it gave me a coin. But this one you can just spray it for a second and it'll give you a coin. Why? Just why? Ugh. <sighs> Uh, it's just so, so tedious. Uh, uh, 
there's a bunch of coins behind this fruit stand I guess I could pick up. Uh, or just two coins. Great! <laughs> yeah, don't go to the casino just yet, just in case. You know, because you don't want to go to the casino unless it's a last resort for finding coins. And what do you have to say on the episode 4 here? You came in knowing it was the Lady Zero? Shameful! Oh, I'm looking for coins here. And I will get coins even if I have to mug you, lady! Okay, maybe not. Let's keep looking. Uh, let's go to the second floor through this bathroom here and start searching through these rooms like so. You know how this works by now. Wait, what if I go up here real quick? Can I? Oh yeah, I can get some coins in here. So I might as well grab these as long as I'm doing my roundabout tour of the uh, hotel room here. And, whoops, wrong tile. It's this one. Wait, wait. No, not that one. Okay, that one. Woo! Oh, it's about time. <laughs> Here. Oh, uh, two coins. Okay, I'm at 50. Not too shabby. And we've got the flip panels. Oh boy, never gonna get this on our first try. No siree, never, ever. Okay, now we got it. And I should have did the Zelda melody or something. Or oh, I guess I can't get up there using boo blocks. Uh, so I'm just gonna exit out the store here and go around. There should be a few coins right here. Uh, if I spray some of these doors, I'm pretty sure some of these doors, if you spray them, they give you coins. Ah! Or maybe it's that light up there that you have to spray. Let's just see here. Only some of the doors. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on these doors here. Uh, I hate this place so much. I'm so glad this is the last shine in this area, seriously. And then I can go on to my favorite level of the game, Noki Bay. Though I have to say Noki Bay is probably the most annoying one for blue coins. It's easily the most scenic and the beautiful area in the entire game. Uh, it's also very cool to just mess around in because it's a very vertical level. So you're often climbing things a lot. Very fun to do, really, if you're just, like, free-running the level. Uh, can I spray, like, these lights for a few coins? Probably, I don't know. No, I guess not. Uh, that clears all this. Will this give me a coin that I got the blue coin? I didn't think so. Okay. So let's go up to the attic here. And is there anything in this... Nothing in that room, okay. So let's go up to the attic, as I was saying. There's a bunch of coins in the attic that I know of, so let's clear out this area. And six coins here, very nice. Um, I know there's a room down here that has some coins, so I might as well just drop down here right away, just to get it over with. And I know this room over here has some coins as well. Let me through here. Five coins, also very nice. Um, I'm gonna skip that room. Uh, the one that's next to that one, I think. Let's just see if there's anything in here. Yeah, I know I can flip around that panel. Um, what if I drop down here? Uh, I end up back in this room. Be right back. Okay, back in the attic over... I said, back in the attic over here. We go take this path now and look for more coins. Most dead ends, like dead ends that contain a room, have dead coins. Dead coins. Coal coins. And also a uh, place that you can ground pound to get to another area. Don't ground pound this though. This will lead you back to that area where you can spray the skylight for a blue coin. Uh, yeah, a blue coin that'll land on that central pillar of the mansion. Uh, hotel, excuse me, not mansion. I keep saying it's a mansion. Because this place really reminds me of uh, Mario Ghost House because the way it's all like very cryptic in a way. So, yeah, you get the idea on why I feel that way, and if I go down here... Oh, this is the room that I said I, I didn't want to explore, but anyway, there's, like, oh, there's a couple of coins that I can get if I drop down here, so I guess, like, it is kind of worth dropping down here, but then I have to go back to the attic again, because I have to go through this door and go back upstairs! Arrgh. Okay, this time I'm gonna go through this path in the attic, just so I can get to this area a little bit faster, because I was just going, like, a counterclockwise area before, so I want to go to that one over there for some more coins, and then I think after this, I might head on over to the casino, oh, it leads me back to this room, 
I'm pretty sure there's other rooms with more coins, but so hold on a sec. What does this guy have to say anyway over here at the start of the attic here? You're a pretty little co- Oh, come on! Now that's just rude! Unbelievable! I'm trying to save Isle Delfino, and you know, you have to collect coins to get the shine sprites, and he's calling me a greedy coin girl. Oh. Unbelievable. People just misunderstand you, and then situations like this happen. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go back into this room here, and... Wait, wait, do I want to go through... Wait, what if I go... Okay, there's this room there. What if I go down here for some coins? Aha! Six coins for me! Yay! And there's another coin there. I bet you if I ground pound all of these, I'll get a coin or two. Or possibly three, or possibly twenty. Twenty would be really nice. I'd really like to get this done and over with. And this one contained the blue coin, so it's probably not going to contain a coin. And would you look at that? Ninety-nine coins! Oh, okay, I was going to say, if I'm one coin short and I have to search the mansion, I would be really ticked off. If you're short some coins, as I said, you can go to the casino, you can ground pound those slot machines. Uh, just like when you collected the blue coin on that one slot machine, but otherwise, that's it. You can get all the coins outside and inside the hotel, and you'll get more than enough, even if it takes you forever. Ah, grab the shine, I'm gonna end, end Serena Beach. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we start Noki Bay.